Ba -ba -da -da -da. Hello! What's up, Minara Attacks? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back playing on X Life, and we're gonna do something really fun today. In one of my past live streams, I was on the X Life server with you guys, and we all came up with a million ideas for a sheep themed theme park. Yes, today we are going to be building a theme park on the X Life server entirely themed around sheep. I figured this idea was perfect considering um, the beautiful gift that Scott left me. Where are my sheep? Wait a minute. Hello? What's this? Do not join Jeremyism. <laughs> I wasn't gonna, but thank you. But where are all my sheep? Oh, they've all gone over this way. Okay. Well, since I have all of these sheep from Scott, I figure we can use them in the new theme park. I spent a really long time gathering materials to get everything ready for this. Look at my backpack. Do you see this? Do you see all of the things that we have? I also have things in this backpack. We have all the things. We are prepared. So as you guys know, um, this is my house. This is my waystone. And you're probably wondering, Catherine, where in the heck are you gonna put a theme park? Well, good question. If we go to the right of my waystone and just keep going this way towards the water, we will eventually get to this flat area of land over here that I spent hours flattening. <laughs> it was a really long time. I never wanna place dirt again. But if I go all the way over here, this is going to be the front of the park. And this little stack of dirt is gonna be where the new waystone goes. So if we come over here and look this way, these dirt markings are the plans of my theme park. So if I just fly up real quick, you'll see uh, I planned quite a bit. We're gonna have rides, we're gonna have games, we're gonna have snacks, and we're gonna have a cute place to take photos. Oh, and if you're wondering what the name of this place is, welcome to the future location of Sheepland. Before we start putting this place together, I want to show you something that I did that I think is really cool. Over this past week, I learned how to make custom models for Minecraft and Lizzie added them into her things mod. So first I made these really cute sheep balloons. So we have a white sheep balloon and we have a pink sheep balloon. I also made the wiggly little string that connects to the balloon because uh, we need that. We don't want our sheep babe balloons flying away now, do we? No, that would be a sin. When it comes to food, I made a cheeseburger and a slice of pizza with a soda. And then are you ready for the best part? I made sheep plushies. For those of you that don't know, I have this like in real life. I have a sheep plushie from Target and it's like my favorite thing ever. So these two models that you're gonna see are inspired by my real life sheep plushie. So here we have a sheep standing. Look at his little feet and his little face. And then I made the same model, but I made him sitting up on his little butt. Look at him. So yeah, these are my custom food decorations and plushies that have been added into the game and they're gonna be perfect for sheep land. Well, before the entity wipe comes, I will take my decorations back and let's get started with this park. Before we start the speed building stuff though, I kind of want to show you guys around for like what it looks like before and then when we go on the tour later, it'll be like way cooler. So like I said before, this dirt is a waystone. Then we're gonna have a bridge over this little river that surrounds the entire park because, um, yes, sheep water ride, hello. But yeah, so you go over the bridge and into the park. Around here, we're gonna have a park map so nobody gets lost. To the left over here, we're gonna have a little petting zoo full of sheep. Next to the petting zoo, we're gonna have a mini game. And then to the right of the mini game, we're gonna have a little roller coaster. Then back here in the middle, this is gonna be where all the food stuff is. To the right of the food stuff, up, we're gonna have a little spinning ride over here. We're gonna have another little mini game This is like the entrance to the little sheep boat ride And then this space in the middle is reserved for a sheep statue that people that visit the park can take pictures with Okay, now one more thing before we get started because I am a loser that forgot I was at Scott's wool shop earlier, which is why I have blue and pink wool, but um I forgot to buy magenta and purple. <laughs> so let me grab my diamondes. We'll grab a stack of magenta and we'll grab a stack of purple. Now get me out of here. Okay, well, now that we're home, let's get started on the theme park.
right guys, so this is what we have so far. And I think it looks really cute. I just made this simple little area for the waystone. So now that we have this, we can just pop this down in the middle and we can name it Sheepland. All of our main attractions and everything are here, but we need to do a little bit of decorating to complete everything. So first, let's start with the sheep petting zoo. As you can see, I've already laid out some carpet because I thought instead of fences, it would kind of be cool if we just had like double stacked carpet. So let's just go around to add another layer. We can add something in the front for a sign. And to fill out this area, I want to add some trees and bone meal. Whoa. Okay, this tree is wild, but it kind of looks cool. Okay, well now that we have this, we can go ahead and add our sign for Fluffy Fields. Isn't that like the cutest name? I'm obsessed with it. I just want to sit here and cry. But anyway, let's move on from Fluffy Fields to our first mini game. So first let's add a fence, then we'll display a bow and arrow. And basically what this mini game is, is they have to try to shoot an arrow on that pressure plate that you see behind me. So now if anyone can land an arrow on that pressure plate, a prize will pop up for them to take. I want to see if I can do it. I've only been able to do it like one time. Oh, uh, no. Oh, um, okay. So clearly I'm not very good at this, uh, but I want to show you what it looks like when you actually get it. So if I shoot that pressure plate, you see how the light turned on? And if we look in here, there's a prize. But I did not actually win this, so I'll put it back. Okay, so next we have our roller coaster, which is named the Cloud Coaster because I tried to make it look like a cloud. And speaking of clouds, we need to build some above this coaster. So we can have one in the middle and we can put two more on either side. Oh, that looks adorable. Now all we need is a queue line. So we can have something like this, and it's also the perfect place to display the name of our coaster. Now we just have to add a bunch of fences. Guys, do you see my mini map? Do you see all those red dots? I should probably tell you, um, above here is perfectly safe, but when I made this area, I laid out all of this grass, and there is about a four or five block gap between where I'm standing and the ground below me, and in between that, is pure darkness. So now there's like creepy things and spiders and stuff spawning underneath me and it kind of sounds terrifying and disgusting, but oh well, it's too late. Maybe I can call an exterminator. But anyway, now that our cloud coaster is done, let's go work on this food area, which will be named the Sheep Shack. So right in front of the Sheep Shack, we can place these white tables and we can have some purple chairs. Then over on the left side of the Sheep Shack, we can have some pizza and on the right, we can have some burgers. And just to make it look cute, I'll place them on the table too. Now to the right of the food place, we have the Sheep Spin. This is basically a ride where you spin in circles forever and it's beautiful. Since this ride is pretty much done, all we have to do is add a little ticket stand. Then we can add some fencing. And then we can add our sign. Now next to our sheep spin ride, we have our second mini game. And basically, this is just shoot the minecart. I really couldn't think of a clever name, but basically minecarts are gonna go back and forth and you have to try to shoot them off. I set this up in a cool way though. So whenever anybody shoots off a minecart, it'll land in here and end up in the chest. That way the game can always be reset. Now I would like to add some more white and pink blocks to the back of this just to decorate it a little bit. Then we can place down our minecarts and turn them on. And again, we'll display a bow and an arrow. We can show off our sheep plushy prizes up top. And for this one, I couldn't figure out how to make the redstone work, so we'll just keep the prizes in a chest. So this one's pretty self-explanatory, but basically just shoot all three minecarts and you win a prize. Now this last build has a cute little bridge leading to it, which basically you come to to grab your boat to go on the boat ride. So let's shove some boats in here and we'll add our sign for the sleepy seas. Okay, well, we can't have a boat ride if we don't have water. So let's fill up the river. This looks so cool. Okay, well now that everything is mostly done, let's go ahead and add a path and then we can come back to add the final touches. guys so the path is done and I also bone mealed and planted like a million trees now we can go around and add some benches for people to sit on we can hang up a couple fairy lights and before I forget I wanted to add some awnings above the sheep shack that's adorable 
Now if we head on over towards the front of the park, I've had this area saved for the park map, so that way when people come to visit, they know where they're going. I also added two of these signs to the front, letting people know that we have a photo spot and that they can contact me for a custom photo. So now that the park is done, we need some sheep. And luckily, I've got tons. Look at how beautiful they are. So we now have sheep in the Fluffy Fields petting zoo, and we also have sheep in these boats for the boat ride. Now let's just finish up by adding some balloons to the park. So we have some by the games and we have some by this front entrance area. And I also want to add them to the front of the bridge. And then we can add our sign for Sheepland. Guys, I think we're done. So welcome to Sheepland. On the left we have Fluffy Fields Petting Zoo. On the right we have Sleepy Seas. In the middle we have our little map of the park. Then we have our cute photo spot. We have a game on the left. We have a game on the right. We have the sheep spin ride, the cloud coaster, and we have the sheep shack. I don't know about you guys, but I want to test out the cloud coaster. Oh no. Okay, let's try this again. It works. It's uh not the fastest coaster, but hey, it works. Okay, well now that everything's done, I just have to go around and tell everybody about my new theme park. I made these cute posters saying Sheepland Theme Park. Food, games, rides, prizes, and more. Only 10 diamonds. Take the Catlandia Waystone and make it right. See you soon. Hopefully people will want to visit my theme park, because I think it's pretty fun. If you guys like the Sheepland theme park, let me know in the comments, but I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!